minor patch in Marvel Future Rev with some character balance updates, but not that full patch that I was expecting yesterday. So in this video, we're going to talk all about the changes that came to the game today with the latest patch. If you're ready for that, guys, find that like button and let's go smash it. Alley flying. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Welcome back to the Valley Flight 76 channel. I hope you are having a great day. I hope you're liking these uh, character changes, these balance update to these characters that we got in Marvel Future Revolution. Three characters affected. We're going to talk about all the changes. One, I have some very good firsthand knowledge with. So we're going to talk uh, first about the changes to Captain America. We look at the dev notes here. Uh, we have some character balance to Captain America, Storm, star lord and some other minor changes now the big changes this new game mode that i was expecting yesterday still not in effect the new epic mode that looks like it's going to be towards the end of september when that is coming uh and some of these other changes doesn't look like it was all implemented in this patch but let's talk about what was implemented in this patch first the period it is done this is this is when the maintenance was done uh, it is it is in the past, so that is it. All right, details with so the balance adjustments. Captain America increases skills performance, so their agents can inspect a mightier Captain America. Increases overall guard damage ability, so it can quickly destroy the enemy's guard. So I played with him this morning, and I've noticed a lot more guards getting broken, especially from those PVE bosses uh, than before. So let's take a look. So ultimate skill. This is the second time that his ultimate skill has been updated as a previous patch uh his ultimate skill got a lot better because it was not absorbing all that damage he was getting uh he was getting killed before his ultimate went off now they improved it a little more to grant more debuff while casting that ultimate skill debuff immunity for that all right unbreakable will that is his uh big skill here he does that charge and if we look most of the things that happened they are in the game right now they are just with a guard break so with this the shield of courage if we go to the skills here we see these different mastery skills subdue it this went from the guard break it went from medium to high it is now high this one was at high now it's at the highest we also have this shield impact of this skill went from medium it is now high and shield of courage went from medium to high so that is what's in the game right now so all of these are active in the game. Some of the things I was expecting from yesterday, like that improved matchmaking, I don't think it's in there yet. That highest has a low cooldown. Yeah, it's very low cooldown for some of these uh, moves here. Uh, this may change some of the moves that I'm using for Captain America. And if you're a Star-Lord player or a Storm player, it may change the way you're using those characters as well. All right, so not too much change overall, except for all these guard break. Just got them a little higher with this. Sentinel of Liberty. We find that skill. This is the this is the one that it does. That's a spin spinneroony skill. This is the one that I like the best. And we got that biggest one equipped on him. So that went from a high to highest. Line of fire. The other, the third skill in that chain of the Sentinel literally went from medium to high. Uh, pulveration vortex went from medium to high. And spin, the high speed spin from from medium to high. Also guard break on reporting for duty. And that is one of my favorite skills as well because. If you guys play Captain America, this is the one that he throws the shield and um, does that. Just got more grod break. Increase it one level for all of these. Low to medium for shield ricochet. Vibratium uh, rebound went from high to highest. Shield slice went from low to high. And the one that I use a lot, precise attack went from medium to high. So Star-Lord has not gotten a lot of love in, uh, what do you call? Not, has not gotten a lot of love with uh previous updates oh cubs fan hot is here let's let's record tomorrow <laughs> i already started this i actually gotta go i gotta go teach the class so uh yes let's talk, let's finish talking about starlord sorry we're supposed to we we're supposed to do this with cubs today but uh time time got passed a little bit all right i uh, erased the conditions for type effect activation adjusted skill performance to highlight the distinctive features of star lord as a hero that uses flame chill shock types so yeah, a little, little bit better for Star-Lord here. He's someone that relies a lot on debuffs on his Flame Chill and Shock skills. Uh, his skill type stacking 
and you're getting more stacks. Uh, it eased type stacking effect activation conditions to seven stacks before it was eight stacks. Now it's seven stacks. So you get uh, stacking. Um, yeah, it's no worries. What's up late night? Hey, don't worry, Cubs. We, we, we will record uh, later this week. Uh, maybe, maybe later today. All right. Elemental cannons, laser eraser, improve the skills, fires laser while tracking the enemy's location during this skill. So looks like it's more targeting the enemy from what it sounds like. And uh, yeah, you're not able to dodge it as easily. And problem solver, explosive crescendo, increased guard break by one level, medium to high. So kind of like they did with Captain America. And Storm, Storm, not gotten a lot of love in previous character balance updates. So easy conditions for type effects activation. So it looks like they did the same thing they did the Starlet that they're doing to Storm. The performance of the master weather manipulation, uh, the manipulation continue to shine in the later stage of the game. So it's type stacking. Ease this type stacking effect activation con conditions to seven stacks used to be eight stacks. So not getting as much debuffs on the enemy before this uh, type stacking gets activated. Whether uh, pressure manipulation wind slash skill got the damage increased by 15%. Pressure manipulation updraft cast time got decreased by 30%. I guess that's the cool. I'm not sure if that's the cooldown time or the actually animation that it takes to actually get the skill off. Increased guard break by one level. So kind of what they did with Captain America going up one level from medium to high on this skill. And deep freeze. The guard break and all of these skills in deep freeze by increased by one level. So similar to Captain America. Very low on all of these as the guard break. Now they're up to medium. All right. Collectible. All right. Fix the bugs. An issue where all collectibles had to be achieved in the activity log. But no items were displayed in the collectibles list. So, I'm not sure if I've experienced that one too much, but that, that's good that it got fixed. New events. Events appeared for our agents. Enjoy exciting adventure with future revolution. Details were announced after the end of maintenance. So, I guess there's going to be some new events coming. I, I am particularly liking this Sif event going on right now. Uh, and if you guys are not familiar with where to go for these different events in the game, let's go in the game because that was a question that we got on stream. Uh, earlier today so here we are in the game the events are right here the check-in events all your different events your login time events that you're going to claim these uh you're going to get something there as well but this is this is what i want to remind you guys about there if you complete all of these events for this Sif event you will get this this four star region costume box now I would be very happy just to get a one-star region costume because they're so rare but you're gonna get to the four star level you don't get to choose what region it comes from but this is so rare. This is something that I would be pushing for. And Omega War, making sure you're doing all these. We have 11 days left. So it, it did start last week, but you do have 11 days. You could complete a lot of these in just a few, a, a few days. Back to the list, though. New bundles in the shop bundle event. So these, these are some different uh, offers that you could buy with various levels of value for you. Some good, some not. I don't I don't buy too much stuff, but a lot of this stuff is okay. There's some new items. Gold future membership. First period until future notice. Purchase limit every 28 days. You're getting crystals, free crystals every 28 days. Gold and unstable conversion particles. So I think with the gold future membership, they used to have these alpha boxes. I think unstable conversion particles is a little, is not as valuable. I think that's a little bit of nerf to this value, but uh, I'm not sure if they switched up the um, prices for this as well. Let's see if we could uh, see that offer in the game. The Alpha Future Membership is only four bucks. Actually, hold on. Oh, Gold Future Membership. Uh, sorry, this is totally different. I was thinking the Alpha Future Membership, not the Omega. Uh, I don't see this uh, there yet in game, so maybe it's... Uh, hold on. Let's go. Maybe, maybe it is there. Daily Perks. Uh, oh, it is there. $8.99 for gold crystals. All right, so this is something totally new. I, I was mistaken on this. It's, it's more about the gold than these crystals and all that. So if you're if you're missing gold and needing this, it's not it's not it's not uh, that much. But nine bucks for this one. All right, elite five. So these are things that were removed from that store for the omega points. Now these are the points that you acquire from spending your draw tokens in there. So. Um, yeah, really, really good stuff in there. Let's actually go in there right now and see what we have in with these special tokens in the game right now. So uh, they have, instead of uh, costumes, 
you're having me specialize costume. Still, the cost is around the same. This four-star regional costume box is still there. Elite costume box is gone. The elite four to five Omega card box is gone. And the four to star to five star core box is gone. But still a lot of good stuff still left uh, with purchasing with Omega points. And a few discontinued items. And yeah, so it looks like that is it for this current patch. It looks like it was more of a hot fix than a full-on update. Uh, it looks like we'll be getting a lot of this full stuff later in the month. And if you have not gotten your feedback for what you want to see with magic comes to the game yet, make sure you go to that feedback link. It is on the bottom of this page right here. Uh, it pops this page up and it gives you uh, in for a section where you could enter right here and you could give all your opinions about what you want to see from the new hero magic coming up. That is it for the video, guys. A uh, light update, some new character balance updates. I think this is good for... Captain America, this is good for Star-Lord. This is good for Storm. I, th I need a little more playtesting to see the exact effects that it will have on Star-Lord. But good stuff here, guys. I will see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Give me that Hulk fest bump before you go. And I'll see you guys next time. Valley flying out.